when you start building your, your templates, you want to make sure that your, your drawing standards are all set up um, in, inside your template because once you build one template, you can go ahead and save that off as the next template size up, and then you just adjust the size of the, the format and adjust where that title block is in the, the lower right. So you have to make sure going into your, uh, sorry about that, menu preferences. And this is only for the file that I currently have open. Otherwise, I would go ahead and set up all my, at my uh, template preferences in my customer defaults. And that's going to affect every file that you use inside of NX. Currently, I'm just adjusting the information that's inside this title block so that it only shows up here. It doesn't affect anything else that anybody else is making. So I, I'll go through here, change my ISO standards, change my labeling, how everything is set up inside of there. So there's, there's lots of things you can play with to set that up. But you absolutely have to have it set up in your title block to begin with. Otherwise, you, you're going to go back in your title block and keep, keep messing with it. So once I'm done with this title block, I want to go ahead and save it into that uh, directory where my title blocks were from Siemens. So I'm going to mark it as a template. And there's a, there's a PAX file that I'm going to use. And currently, I'm going to use the same PAX file in my, my template directly. And it's, for native, it's going to be UGS drawing templates. And that's your PAX file for that. Once I save that in there, I'm going to hit OK. And I have to make sure I save the template after I'm finished in the same folder. Templates. And we're going to call this uh, swoosh. Now, in order for that to take effect, uh, I would have to close NX down and start it back up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out that history so it doesn't confuse anybody. So go ahead and do new. I have it as a standalone right now. I could have used, I could have created it as a reference so it references a model and pulls the information from the model into that title block. But I'm going to go ahead and do my reference. There's my information from my, my drawing. Took a snapshot of it before it saved it in there. Go ahead and open it. And the user can and user can go ahead and fill this information out. If I need to go back because I've missed something, and hopefully you, you've used a few uh, templates that you currently have, and I get this on the wrong date. So all that information is ready to go. So the users doesn't have to do anything other than fill in the information that's necessary for this particular title block. Again, back in your root directory for 12, I can see the swoosh title block that I created for my company is now sitting in there. And the PAX file has been updated. And you could use um, uh, uh, Notepad++ or a text editor to go in there and review this information. And when you create a new uh, template, it's going to put it right down at the very bottom of your, your list. And it's not as easily to, to read like the ones out of the box. So if you need to modify this a little bit for you or whoever maybe um, modify these, these in the future, in between your greater than and less than symbol, just hit enter until it gets uh, straightened out so that it's more legible for whomever is going to be using these files. And then once you're done, you just go ahead and save it back in and you're off and running again. And I'll just leave a space down here for my palette. So it just makes it a little bit easier for them to read. There's my swoosh drawing information where that file has been saved. And just go ahead and save that. <clears throat> 